I'm Lisa and I welcome you to Power Up with Lisa Wisner, a space where we share tips and life hacks on how you can live your life like a power up hero. So how much time do you think that you spend remembering things that happened in the past or thinking about things that are going to happen in the future? Today, we're going to be unpacking an amazing book called Mindfulness by Dr. Ellen Langer. And this is actually known as the number one book on mindfulness. Now, Dr. Langer is actually the world's leading research scientist on social psychology. And she was actually the first tenured female at Harvard Department of Psychology. And so she's been working on this for over three decades. And in fact, the book we're unpacking is in its 25th anniversary. So this book is jam-packed with high-level, impactful information about the whys and how of mindfulness, but also some mindfulness practices so you can get started easily. Here are the big ideas from the book, okay? So what is mindfulness? So Dr. Ellen, as we're going to call her, she talks about mindfulness literally being the fact of just noticing new things. When you do that, it puts you in the present. It makes you more sensitive to context about situations and the actual impact of the situations that you're in. Mindfulness is seeing things clearly, paying attention moment to moment. When you're mindful, you start to notice what's happening as it's happening. And like clouds passing in the sky, this is how she explains it. You see that your thoughts only, your thoughts and feelings only last a short time. They come, they go, and the problem arises when you actually attach yourself to those clouds, create mind movies about what's going on, and get carried away. She centers herself around this concept of having mindfulness by creating beliefs in ourselves unmindfully, right? So I want you to see mindfulness as being a source of energy for us. Uh, power up heroes. It's energy that's already present in our lives and we don't have to wait 10 years or until such and such happens for us to be happy, for us to flourish. It's available for us if we are present. So she also goes on to explain that in our quest for mindfulness, we need to be human beings versus human doings. So are you like me, maybe an overthinker, maybe an overanalyzer sometimes? Yes, I know that we all do that. But she talks about being a human doing as being an overthinker, a person who just thinks about it over and over and over versus being a human being, being mindful. But the fact that I get aware of that, I actually say perfect and I smile because I think about the fact that I'm noticing it being mindful, right? So I'm able to flip that switch and move back into being a human being. The other thing that Dr. Ellen talks about is the word balance in work-life balance. And she says that we should really talk about how work-life interaction is a better definition of what we're looking for because work and life really do fit together and they're not opposites of each other. You know, there have been so many scientific breakthroughs in neuroscience that show us that our brains can actually be reshaped out with the old blueprint of what we thought life was about and in with using mindfulness to bring more love, wisdom, more emotional balance during difficult times. You know, I think about how easy it is to pay attention when you're mindful, you actually end up being more creative and you're able to take advantage of opportunities when they present themselves because you don't have so much clutter in your mind. A mindfulness practice can also be a strong center of support for our social justice issues that we have in our world to combat biases in the world, you know, because being mindful actually gives you a space for you to respond proactively rather than being reactive to situations. You know, as humans, we spend a lot of our days on autopilot being distracted and mindfulness is really about having the clarity in the present moment to, to be proactive in your actions that you're that you're putting out into the world so it's very simple to get things started but I want you to just pick one of these items that you will practice today because you know your future self will thank you for it I'm Lisa Wisner I hope that you are educated inspired and encouraged to be a power up hero because our world needs more mindful heroes today more than ever before I hope you make today a powered up day bye